If you're playing any golf at all and you're an experienced golfer, you're hitting a hybrid 8, 10, 12 times a round. And if you're chunking it, man, it's killing your rounds. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cole, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And today we're going to take this club right here, the hybrid, one of the best designed golf clubs over the last 40 or 50 years. And we're going to improve your contact so you can start hitting better golf shots. So first of all, a hybrid is a club that's designed to help get the golf ball up in the air. It's also a club that's designed to glide and go through the turf. So contact is a key component. So I want to share with you here today a couple key things in terms of the setup. I also want to talk about one particular swing thought. And then I got to share with you a design feature that you should be aware of because it might actually be the real fix for you. So first of all, when we're hitting a hybrid, we know that we want the club to kind of glide through the turf, go through the turf nice and easy. All right, we're not taking a divot. We're not hitting up on it like we are driver. So let's talk a little bit about the setup. So the first thing you want to look for in the setup is you want the ball to be slightly forward of center. So if the bottom of my swing, let's just say for sake of discussion right here, is kind of right in the middle of my feet, Everybody see that? I want to get the ball just a little bit forward of that. So here's what I would suggest. When you set up, put your feet together, okay, and position the ball right in the center. And I want you to take a step towards the target, all right, and then a slightly larger step away from the target. Everybody see how I did that? So here we go. Feet together, step towards the target, a little bit wider step away from the target. And by doing that, that's going to position the golf ball a little bit more forward. Now, in terms of the body, where should the ball be relative to your body? Well, I like to use checkpoints. So we've got maybe like a logo on a golf shirt. A lot of golf shirts got logos on them, right? You can use something like that or even like your lead eye, your lead ear. So I want that ball to be positioned somewhere around the lead ear or kind of off the logo on your golf shirt. So if you're looking at it in the mirror as a reference point there, I got my main man Nick behind the camera. Nick, give him a thumbs up. There he is. <laughs> We want that ball to be positioned kind of in that particular spot. What that'll do for us, let's go ahead and hit a shot here. All right, what that's gonna do for us is it's gonna get us to contact the ball right at the bottom of the swing arc. Here we go. Wow, that club popped off there. All right, so that's where you wanna first of all, if you're struggling with contact, you wanna look at ball position. Now we're gonna talk about a couple other things here, but one of the things you wanna do here is subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell. You know we love hearing from you. You know my favorite question I love to ask is where you're from. I read that on all the comments. We love hearing about that. Man, we get people from all over. And hey, be sure to check us out at VLS Golf. We got all types of great stuff there from digital products to training aids, golf clubs, you name it. We're here to help you play better golf. So the other thing that you want to be looking at if you're struggling with contact, okay, is swing direction. This is one of the core concepts that we teach in the vertical line swing system and that's the direction of the lead arm because the direction that the lead arm travels and moves has a big impact on where the club hits the ground. So if I take my lead arm and I swing it back and inside and around, the bottom of the swing tends to work backwards. If I swing my lead arm more straight back and up, okay, the bottom of the swing goes a little bit more forward. All right, so if you're topping the golf ball, or you're hitting behind it, it might look something like this. Here we are, we're set in there. Okay, and if my lead arm goes low and inside, okay, the bottom of the swing's gonna go back and it'll be prone to kind of topping it. So make sure that that lead arm goes straight back and up. Now, how might you practice that? Well, pretty simple. When you're set in there, all right, what I want you to do, and this is one of the reasons why I've got the MaxVert right here, the new MaxVert hybrid. This thing is awesome. It's got a couple design features on it that make it really easy. One of them is on the top right here, this nice long red line, we call it the fairway finder. That's what some of our people who were able to use this early in proto, the, the prototype and tested it out, they saw that red line and they said, hey, Nick, Todd, that thing right there, you gotta call that the fairway finder. So that's what we call it. But what that does right there is that red line okay, is that helps me move the red line. If the red line moves more straight back, that helps me swing the club more straight back. And that's what I want you to feel. I want you to feel like the lead arm works more straight back. Let me go ahead and hit another one. I'm gonna give you another tip to give you some more distance with your hybrid. So here we go. I got the ball in the right spot. My lead arm's working more straight back and up. Oh yeah, geez, this club is hot. It just pops off the face. Now. Let's talk about what we could do to get a little bit more distance. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out here is on the bottom here of the Max Vert, we developed what we call this ground hugging sole. 
And on the, you'll notice here on the bottom of it, compared to most standard hybrids, most standard hybrids are, are they're kind of curved a lot on the bottom. This one is a little bit more, you'll see it here, it's a little bit more flat. Now what does that do? Couple things. Number one is it sets it down at the right angle, the shaft angle. Okay, it also helps it glide through the turf and almost kind of get underneath the ball. When, when the bottom here is nice and flat and long, that helps the club get underneath the ball and move some of the, the weighting back to help us get nice and high on the launch. Okay, now when we have launch, and if we had speed, we're gonna get some distance. So let's talk about speed. So one of the best ways to get more speed is to make sure we're moving towards the target. Okay, so when you're hitting your hybrid, a lot of golfers, especially if you're struggling with contact, that's what we're talking about here today, keep their weight on their back foot. They finish like this. All right, so the tip that I want you to have is I want you to, when you finish your swing, make sure your weight is forward and your knees are touching. Okay, so let's tie this together. I got my Maxford driver, my fairway finder, my ground hugging sole. <laughs> Here we go, I got the ball, kind of just off the logo on my shirt or kind of my lead ear, right in that spot right there. I've got my straight back, lead arm. Here we go, and I'm gonna get my knees touching. Oh man, I tell you what, every single time. All right, you're gonna hit this club a lot. Whether you're a great golfer, experienced golfer, new golfer, the hybrid is a club you gotta have in your bag. These couple tips right here are gonna help you master this club.